Hey everybody, Justin Weber, Amson Sound. I wanted to share a little bit more about some of the things I use in my own system and why they're special to me. So what we have here is a turntable that's a, a little bit of a Franken table in the sense that it uses VPI Classic Signature Platter, VPI HW40 feet, VPI Stainless Steel Motor Pod, Joco S-shaped 9-inch arm with a knife-edged bearing, Ortofan uh, head shell with an Audio Technica OC9 XEN cart. And then in the back, we have a set of Cardus DIN connector to junction block, which made all the difference in the world. So, why do I have a Franken table? I've always been a huge fan of VPI. I own VPI Avenger for my big system, but I also really, really have always loved the Scoutmaster. I also love the Classic. This was my homage to a Scoutmaster. So you have a big platter, a very simple plinth. This is my good friend, Andy Moini, helped me make the plinth. It's a plywood plinth, just stacked, high layer content, Baltic birch, stacked and laminated. It started out as a rectangle, and then we started trimming it down to be the minimum size. And then took it to our wood shop, rounded the corners, and gave it more of a professional finish. Things that we wanted, was I wanted to be able to turn the tone arm around and get it, have it fully concealed so the tone arm was still can fully concealed by the plinth so it never contact anything outside of the footprint of the plinth. VPI makes some really fantastic tables. I like the simple platter bearing or inverted bearing design with a fixed motor, no speed control. If I want 45, I actually have to just, you know, move the pulley down. I liked having a detachable head shell the Audio Technica carts, the OC9 is actually what I use. Uh, I use a slightly higher end OC9, but I use it on my big table. I think they sound amazing. The Gelco tone arms before Gelco went out of business, you know, they were every DIYer's favorite tool. I was able to get one just before they went under and, you know, I'll probably keep it for the rest of my life for that reason. Uh, we were able to do a few nice things where we got these CNC stacked uh, risers for the Gelco arm. So it all looks like it, you know, it was perhaps almost built by a manufacturer, but it's a, a nice DIY kit. Uh, things that we did that were a little fun was we recessed the bearing, so we dropped the, the platter to be as close to the plinth as we could. And what you have here is your sort of quintessential American turntable, mass loaded, fairly simple in design, just that the execution and the materials matter most. And for me, it's a lot of fun for that reason. Thanks for coming.